everyone. Thanks so much for stopping by today to the Pepper Peach, where we're going to be checking out the Arancini recipe from Magnolia Cookbook, volume number two. So this is one of my favorites. I love arancini. It's so tasty. It's so yummy. I love all the flavors coming together. You really taste the, the butter and the rice, and it's just, it's so good. So I'm very excited to share this with all, with all of you today. It's so yummy. So let's get started. We have all of our ingredients right here. So let's get going. Okay, so our first step is to get ready and chop up some onion. So get ready for some tears. However, I also did start already simmering our chicken stock because we will need that ready to go when we start, you know, putting in our rice and our garlic and all of that yumminess. So let's first chop up our onion. And like I said, hopefully I don't cry. Start with this, because we actually just need about half a cup, so it's not too much. All right, there is our onion ready to go. Now let's head over to the stove and we'll turn on our pot and throw in some butter and we'll get that going because we need that to melt. We need three tablespoons for now. It's just about three tablespoons. So let's throw this in our pot. And we will get this going. Let this melt. Then we'll add in our onion and our garlic and saute that up. Then we'll add in our rice and use this simmering chicken stock to pour in. So stay tuned. All right, so our butter has melted. Let's go ahead and add in our onion. And we're gonna let that go for about five minutes and then we'll add in our garlic. So you want this to saute down and we'll come back. All right, so our onion is translucent. Let's add in our garlic, just, just one clove there. We'll stir this for 15 seconds, 15 seconds. Mm, this garlic smell alone is just so good. And you couple that with the buttery onions. Oh gosh, I am very excited for this arancini. All right, so now that it's been a couple seconds, let's add in our uh, cup of rice. And by the way, I should say, this is from Sunny. How cute is that? It's for lefties like myself, since we live in a right-handed world, but thank you, Sunny. All right. I'll we'll give this a stir for a couple minutes. I'm gonna lower this temperature. And after about one or two minutes, I'm gonna start ladling in some of that chicken stock that we have warming up on the other side. So she says to stir this for about a minute or two. And then we'll we'll get going with our with our rice. All right. So before I add in some of that chicken stock, let's add in some salt and pepper. Uh oh! I dropped my my dish towel. That's okay. My cute magnolia dish towel. All right. Now let's start ladling it. We're just gonna do just about a cup at a time here, so. Start with this. Give this a swirl. So once the rice absorbs this chicken stock, we're gonna add another cup and we're gonna continue that process until it's all absorbed and yummy. This smells so good. I mean, just the salt and pe the pepper, which is my, I love pepper, hence pepper peach. Um, it smells so good. The chicken broth 
it's just buttery yumminess. Alright, so here's a couple more minutes until it's all absorbed, and then we'll keep going. Okay, it's all absorbed. Let's throw in some more stock. Okay, so now that all of our chicken stock is done, it's incorporated, and it's all absorbed, let's head over back to our counter. And here, we're going to add in, let's see, make sure I get this right. Can't mess this up. All right, so we're gonna add in Parmesan, heavy cream, some lemon, take the sticker off, that would help. And then we'll add in some lemon juice, just a little, not too much. Oops, hot. <laughs> All right. It's only a teaspoon, so I'll just do this. Okay. Perfect. I know it won't make a difference, but. Okay, we'll stir this all together. Mm. The lemon smells so good with the garlic and the sauteed onions. And then we're also going to add in our butter, right? Yes. The last two tablespoons of butter. And once this is all mixed together, we're gonna spread it out on this sheet pan and we're gonna let this cool down. And once it's cool, just a little bit, we're gonna throw this in the fridge. Okay. Butter's not melted yet, so let's give that another stir. Let that melt. Get this out of the way so I can make room to spread the risotto. So, got our sheet pan. And, oh, it wants to stay, there we go. Okay, so let's dump this out, spread it out, and cool it out. <laughs> Perfect. Alrighty. So we'll let this cool before we throw this in the fridge. Frid oh refrigerator, I could say that word today. And that's it. So once this is all cooled, we'll pop it out of the refrigerator and then we'll get start combining our panko, panko and our flour and eggs. And then we'll throw this in the oil and then finally be able to try them. Trust me, it's worth the wait. Okay guys, it's time to get our balls ready with this rice that's ready to go. So it is chilled, it's nice and ready to be shaped into little balls. Yep, that's good. I did grease up my hands a little bit so I didn't have to worry. So I'm first gonna just get these into, into little balls and then we will do some dipping.
have the oil heating in the back so that we're ready to go. And it's canola oil we're using. Now you can freeze these to get them a little hard, but I'm just gonna go right into it. So our first step is to take our ball, drop it in the flour, dredge it around, then the egg mixture, and then our panko. And one down. does get a little messy <laughs> with your hands, but what can you do? All right, I'm gonna wash my hands because it's getting gross, and we'll come back and finish up the rest of them. Okay guys, it's time to throw in our arancini into the oil. So very carefully, so it could start to sizzle. All right, let's give this a couple minutes. Okay, so these have been about four to six minutes. I am gonna take them out and let them, you know, cool down on this paper towel. And after a few minutes, we'll be able to give them a try. All right, y'all, it's time to try our arancini. I love the, the crisp already and the cheese is just gooing out of here. So I'm gonna dip it into our marinara sauce. Mm. It is so good, so crispy on the outside. The inside is so flavorful with all of the ingredients. You really taste that butter and that rice. It is so good and that cheese, it just all comes together so, so nicely. It's delicious. If you make it at home, please let me know what you think. Just make sure you give yourself a little bit more time because it does have a few extra steps in there that takes a little bit more time than you're used to. So you do have a dinner party, make sure you give yourself enough time. But these are so worth it in the end, it's so good. If you make it at home, let me know what you think. I'll talk to you next time. Thanks so much for stopping by. All right, y'all, it's time to try our un ooh, our ooh, our orange what? So delicious. If you do try it at home, let me know what you think. <clears throat> excuse me as I choke, but thank you so much for coming by. And I'm <laughs> I gotta jump, I have a little piece of <laughs> uh, <coughs> Who wants a ball? Ding, 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 ding. <laughs>